Yes, I texted the CEO of Mullen Automotive. In worse news, Mullen has crashed down. As I'm making this video, we're trading at 41.96 on the day. That's 41 cents. We have broken support at 44, 43 and some change like I have been covering every single day for all of you. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about what's next, what really needs to happen because this is not looking good at all. And by the way, I sent David three text messages. He left me on red, but if you wanna know what I said to him, join the Patreon down below, join the community, join the Discord. I post it in there, it's $5 a month. Plus you get access to a lot of other things that I feel like will help you moving forward. We have 15 minutes left of market being open. CPI data was not hot this morning. I made a video this morning saying it's not looking good at all. CPI data came in higher than expected and stocks have definitely reacted. And by reacted, they have actually been dropping down. I have changed some of my positions with different stocks that I'll tell you at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that information. But when it comes to Mullen stock, this is where we're at. Before I show you where we're at on the charts, I do want to give you an update with BAM Investor because I have been updating you all every single day with this person on Twitter. He has stated that he's seen this type of price action in from big reversal windows many, many times over the years. And he's talking about Mullen. I think they, I think they big guys are accumulating. I think the big guys are accumulating, I think is what he meant to say, their last chunk of shares down here today. Okay, so he also stated, if you follow him on Twitter, that today was gonna be the day, the 11th and 12th, that we should push up to 48 cents. But we actually pushed down to less than 42 cents. Let's see if the stock tracks high later today and tomorrow. Here's his disclaimer. So it looks like he added more call options for Mullen Automotive. Of course, let me know what you think of that down below. Bam Investor, it seems like he's been in the space for a while. He was really big on AMC. He has over 100,000 followers on Twitter. I always have said that doesn't mean you should listen to those guys because they have a big following, but it seems like with his experience, with what he has done before, it could be relevant to where Mullen is at today. I've also said that his charts align similar to mine and it's based on Fibonacci. So if Mullen does want to run, there are certain levels that he stated and that I have also stated that Mullen can absolutely hit. But the question is if Mullen wants to run because right now we are down over 5%. It's the same story with Mullen Automotive that it's been for months now. Really since February of 2023, Mullen has been on a serious downtrend. And this has come from dilution, shorting, and also illegal short selling, which Mullen has a case right now that I believe is a very strong case to get the NASDAQ extension. We know the NASDAQ extension is actually next week, I believe on the 19th of October. So again, it's a waiting game like I've been saying. But the question is, will they get ex the extension? Because that's all that matters right now. So now let's dive into the charts. I'm gonna show you the four hour time frame because it's too hard to tell what Mullen's gonna do on the one hour or two hour. We really need to zoom out at this point because we're trading near all time lows at 41.75 right now. And it's just absolutely insane. I've been saying a lot like this doesn't make any sense with the news Mullen has put out. The only thing that makes sense right now is this could be warrants. This could be dilution because the volume today is at 16 million. And prior to this, the volume really has been lower, under like 12 million every single day. Some even some days even under 10 million. So right now with being at 16 million, it is what it is, but a lot of selling pressure it looks like, and um, we broke support, so let's talk about it. So we talk about this usually every day, if not every other day, straight downtrend, right? But what does this look like? Stochastic, very low points. That is a good sign. That is a sign. It doesn't necessarily mean that we bottomed out, but it is a sign that we are starting to bottom out. The RSI has also broken this yellow line that I've been talking about. Now I was talking about on a daily bone of four hours, it's broken it. You see what has happened before when it's broken the yellow line, obviously downside pressure, but what comes after that? Usually a pop. And there is a point right here where Mullen could have a green day tomorrow, but then we could crash right back down. What I think will happen is Mullen might run tomorrow. We might get a green candle. But again, since we broke support, we can now come down all the way to 39 cents. So if we don't hit 39 cents, literally in six minutes, as market closes, we could run tomorrow, then come right back down and start trading sideways again, all the way to 39 cents until the NASDAQ hearing, 
which is next week. Hopefully that makes sense. So me personally, I would not be entering a position right now in Timolin Automotive. Obviously, if you've been part of this community, if you've been part of this channel, you know I'm holding Molin Automotive, but as of right now, I wouldn't be adding any more just with how the charts look and with the waiting game of this extension news, right? Again, I've been saying that on every video, we're gonna trade sideways. Unfortunately, we broke support, so we're probably gonna come down lower, but we could run tomorrow, then we can come back down until this NASDAQ hearing. In better news, I ended up buying back into Palantir uh, Palantir is just a beast, right? So I'm looking more long term. Um, and I, I'm looking at a weekly time frame, and it's actually looking very good on a weekly time frame. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys always got to do your own research. But right now, it's trading at $17.93. And the weekly time frame, the stochastic is pointing up. The RSI is also pointing up. It just broke through that yellow line that I've been covering with you guys. And when this has happened before, the stock tends to run. Of course, with any news they keep getting contracts deals with different commercial businesses and also the government especially with what's going on in the world right now i think it is safe to be in palantir um, it is a long-term hold for me i see this going to 25 dollars before the end of 2023 i'm sticking with that because i think it could definitely happen of course there will be some resistance as i've been sharing the other position that i entered in long today is tesla so tesla is actually looking very nice let me show you real quick so I shared this with the Patreon earlier today. You can see we're trading in this channel right here. I don't have any Fibonacci's on here for you, but with the Fibonacci, it looks like the next area we would look for is about 305 to 308, and then all the way up to $350. So for me, Tesla, I'm okay if it goes down a little bit. Like if we test this yellow trend line right here again, and I'll just tell you where that's at right now. That's at about even 250 range, 252. I'm okay with that, holding a little bit of red because I do see more upside here very soon with Tesla, a strong company, great, amazing on the charts, great product, uh, strong fundamentals, financials look great. So the CEO I think is a good CEO. So again, you gotta do what's best for you, but right now Tesla's looking good. So I entered a position right here. I think we're gonna break this descending trend line and we're just gonna shoot up. And then of course I, I did add a little more into LAZR. I've been into that stock also. I made some videos on it. Let me know down below if you want me to make any new updates on LAZR. Definitely I can do that, especially this weekend. And then DNA stock is taking a beating today down almost 8%. But I made it in this morning's video that Kathy Wood and ARK Invest actually just loaded the boat with 2 million shares yesterday. I probably would guess that they're gonna buy more today. So we'll find out later this afternoon. Guys, don't forget to drop a like. We'd always appreciate that. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet, and we will see you on the next one.